November 12th today. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Hypothetical Nonsense Podcast, where everything is fake and nothing is real. Today, we are joined by our wonderful go- everybody. <laughs> Let's, We're Sammy always joined by plan. the wonderful everybody. We got done with our white surgery. We turned back what? to black. Oh, yeah. wait. No, no, this is no, 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 way after. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they were saying in the po- in the <laughs> comments that they gentrified yeah. hypothetical nonsense. <laughs> that was really funny. That was good. <laughs> they done whitewashed hypothetical nonsense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, welcome back to the hypothetical. Just okay. So today we're I don't actually, I actually don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Sammy has, Sammy so let me let me up. yeah let me intro. <laughs> today welcome back to the hypothetical nonsense podcast. Today there's something really special that we're gonna be doing because it's New Year's. This has nothing to do with New Year's. <laughs> Um, but I know this episode is going to come out during New Year's. So happy New Year's, everybody. Um, I was sleeping and I was having a dream about a tweet that I, that I saw Mm. a a, a few, I think months or maybe even a year ago. The tweet was, yes, the tweet that, well, it it was surrounded by a scene. I was in the movie Cars and I was thinking (laughs) about the tweet. Um, it was Sally from Cars. And the tweet said, uh, I know that little muffler be gripping. So I thought to myself, like I jolted out of my slumber in a cold sweat. And I was like, what if we ranked or we we did a bracket for all of the sexiest cartoon characters? Oh, oh I love this. No. So I looked up sexiest cartoon characters on Google and oh. I just got all See, of wait. the ones that I saw. I'm so yeah, into all this. The ones in that, all the ones Is that you Kim thought possible? were sexy. Is Kim Possible on this? Are there going to be animals? There will be animals, yes. Right. I think there's only two animals. I, I, I'm not personally a furry, but I understand why people become furries as a result of certain, you know, television that's they're exposed to at formative periods of their life. So I'm not going to be weird about the animals. If an animal is, like, sexy as hell, like, if, if we have, um, what's her name, Hops? Who's the bunny? Lola. Judy, Judy Hops. No, no, not Judy. Lola, Lola bunny. bunny. If we got Lola Bunny on there, I'm not going to... I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to the audience. I won't lie to you. Yeah. So I didn't have... I'd uh, fuck that... I didn't have bracket HQ premium, so I could only do 32. Yeah. But there was... (laughs) I had a list of... (laughs) Only 32 is crazy. I had a list of 60 that I was going to put in. That's awesome. So some people did not make the cut, but trust and be certain I would have wanted them to make the cut. Okay. So let's go to the bracket. Um, Let's go to the bracket. Oh, look at this image that we have on the screen. Uh... Do you mind? Can we can we just move this around? Who who has controls to this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. What the? Oh yeah, yeah. Whoa. Let's do like a. Can we do like a full rotation of the image? For the audio listeners, Nothing. there's a picture of Will's face on no. the television screen that is just so abhorrent. Wow. Oh wow. Let's wow. Move on. All right. I think ten seconds is enough time. I've That's never seen someone so... that. I, I've never seen someone produce that much sweat. Yeah, that was a lot. This it is, wasn't was even hot though. that day. This is really. I guess incredible. it was just really. It was really uh emotionally taxing. No, we were getting you, scared. Do you sweat when you when you get afraid? <clears throat> uh, apparently, <laughs> I guess the the scientific <laughs> evidence points to yes. Wow. All right, let's do the bracket. All right, thank you so much. Let's bracket around. Incestuous, right? Is it incestuous to have sex with yourself? Uh, would you have sex with your twin? N- no. Well, That's you incestuous. have the same genetics. Same exact If I have genetics. an identical twin. No, 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 no. Okay, well, what I'm talking about is like, if it's literally me, all my memories, we have the same experiences, it's a duplication of me. So it's not like some an actual other human being that I existed alongside. It's just a copy of myself. But from, by so from right now, that is what a twin is. Yeah, technically. Well, no, no, I I'm not talking about like just the genetics. I'm talking about like memories and experiences. But so I if think, there was literally just a copy of me, I don't think that's relevant in when considering if it's incest. The reason. The re- oh, okay, maybe I'm not okay. Incestuous. You're right. Yeah, that's but good. it feels wrong. To do is yeah, it, does it feel worse to fuck your twin or yourself? It probably no, it feels, feels worse it feels to fuck it your feels. Twin. Both wrong. To, well, I would never fuck a twin, but I also just wouldn't fuck my, myself if I had a copy of I'd it. I'd fuck the shit out of myself. We've talked about this before. Anyways, let's just move on. I'm okay, sorry. let me go through the seating. I kind of thought about the seating a little bit. Who is Helen Parr? From uh, The Incredibles. I'm going to need mom? to look Yeah, I was, I was... <sighs> is that Elastigirl? Yeah. So oh. 
So what I did was I was gonna so I made a whole bunch of pictures with their their name and everything and I like did it in Photoshop. Yeah. But then I remembered we can't use copyright images. No. So let's uh. use our imaginations for this. How, um, uh, Elastigirl being one is is I feel very accurate. Yeah, and I appreciate yeah your sanity. And thirty two is Jimmy from Scary Godmother and the Revenge of Jimmy. <laughs> so <laughs> look this up because uh, yeah, I don't I, know what. Yeah, you're if, talking you, if you guys can look up Jimmy, that was Jimmy. my personal pick for the thirty second seed. Scary what Wonders and the I Scary Godmother and the this. Revenge of Jimmy. Oh yeah, that 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 man is thirty two for sure. No, I think well, he's. This is this is no competition though. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We all get a vote. We all get an equal vote. So who's getting the best head in this picture? None of those are Jimmy. Uh, seventeenth seed we have Sally from Cars, obviously. I don't. Sixteen we have Squidward. That was I. I saw Squidward on a lot of lists. Wait. So hold on. With Squidward, is it his like appearance or personality? I didn't see explanations. No, but I'm saying when we're ranking this, are we doing it based on because let's Squidward not blow a, our load too early. Let's we're not doing the Seth. We're not doing the list yet. Well, I'm just I'm just reading off all of the contestants. Yeah. So let's not let's not <gasps> discuss too much. Okay. Uh, Linda Flynn Fletcher, that is Phineas and Ferb's mother. Oh, word. Uh, Zuko <laughs> from Avatar. Yeah. Well, we'll okay. get your get your research. Wait, in. Zuko's the with the scar. Yes. Oh. SpongeBob. I saw SpongeBob. Uh. I, there were three SpongeBob characters across the board. Uh, Ember from Danny Phantom. Larry the Lobster. Lola Bunny. Oh, wow. I forgot about these. Prince Naveen and Prince Charming. Which one? Uh, the animated one. The Disney character. There's Prince Charming. Okay. Not Shrek. Not Shrek. Right. Uh, the OG Prince Charming. Prince Charming is from Snow White or? Uh, I think so. Are, are all of them Prince Charming? No. I don't know. Stupid. Cinderella. Yeah. So Cinderella? Far. I've Is only it Cinderella? known this five guy? of these people. Yes, that's the one that I saw. This that's crazy. Wow. Uh Jim Hawkins, look him up. Jim Hawkins? I saw his name a bunch. <laughs> Frozone. Treasure Planet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Buzz Lightyear. Uh-huh. Shego. Shego. Mulan, Mufasa, Jasmine oh, yeah. from uh from Aladdin. From Kim Possible, right? Yeah. Jasmine, Debbie Thornberry from uh, what what is that show called? The one with Nigel Thornberry. Um, goofy ass name. The Thornberries? Yes, I think is that what it's called? Um, I think so. and then we could we could scroll down a little bit more. I think there's there's is there more? Oh yeah, Damn. Milo Milo James Thatch. Ooh, we got a ooh from the producer. What? Wait, James Thatch is which one? Uh, he's got the little like uh male manipulator glasses. Wait. I think I hold on. Let me look at this up. Uh, Esmeralda from uh, Hunchback. I I saw someone for a little bit that looked exactly like this, dressed up. Like Milo this for James Halloween. Thatch. Everyone wants to look like. Every boy looks like him. But now. he actually looked like him. Yeah. It is a shame that he had a mid personality. Daphne Blake from Scooby Doo. Max Goof from the Goofy movie. Uh, oh. uh, Meg from uh, family Hercules. Family oh, no, Hercules. Meg family guy on here. Uh, I that was one that got snubbed because I, I was just listing people and I forgot to put. Okay, her on. yeah, she's she's interesting. I also forgot Lois. Um, I love illustration, so I have like a deep connection to these characters. Like, I feel an affinity for their character design, not necessarily because I'm attracted to them. I'm just like, wow, that's such a beautifully designed character. Well, this is gonna be a great conversation because yeah, we've got sure. Flynn Rider. From Tangled. Oh, yeah, he's good. Kovu from, I think it's the second Lion King. Kim Possible. Yes. Prince Charming. David from Lilo and Stitch. Mm -hmm. Lightning Is McQueen. Prince Charming on there twice, no? Is he? Wasn't he next Isn't there, to oh, Prince Oh, I think, I think there is two. I think this one is the Shrek one. We need to get, what is it, Shigo and Kim Possible together. Right, Th that I feel like, like would be an like interesting. In a video? No, 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 oh. no, no. <laughs> just just oh. to, to that would be an interesting debate. Who, which one is is more attractive? In a vid oh yes, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Lightning McQueen and Jessica Rabbit. So I think okay, oh the 15th, these are hard. The fifteenth seed of Prince Charming is I think Shrek Prince Charming. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we can edit. We I think we could edit it 
No, it's already started, though. Yeah, true. The tournament already started. And it's okay, the we'll other one around. up there is Prince Charming from, what is it? Snow White. Snow White. Or is it, Cin- I don't know. So are we, is it Cinderella? Are we counting their personalities? Because Prince Charming is is a hot character, and he's he he's designed, I think, closest to be a human from Shrek. But he's an asshole. <clears throat> well, we're let's con- we're considering it based on looks, and also it's hard to based on how they act because I've seen pretty much all of these, but I don't know if you you guys I've have seen, seen most of these. Of these. Will there's only a few exceptions. I've pro- I probably know six of these. So we can go based on personality, but let's let's yeah. lead let's lead more towards the superficial. Okay. Of how, how about pre- like it's like a one night are. stand, like yes. the enjoyment of having a one night. stand with this person yeah. okay that's fair I, I do think that like like with what's his name zuko zuko yes there's something about his character art that's inherently attractive so just beyond the fact that he's a gorgeous cartoon character like he, is prince charming gonna do- is gonna, gonna dominate us but that's what i mean it's like i'm considering their personality in a way where i'm like i feel like zuko would just be so it would be such a magical night it yeah, well, he does know how to bend fire, so yeah. And how would that be useful at all? At all? No, you'd be you'd be crunched and burned, and <laughs> and you'd die. No, he's very sensitive, but he also has like. Isn't a... he like a part of like a regime? No, so he his character arc is that he's like ch- trying to obviously kill the the uh, avatar, right? Yeah. But in the Aang. end, in the end, he wants to overthrow. You know Spoiler. the. Oh, I shouldn't. Well, spoilers for Avatar. Spoilers but for all of these. In the end, Zuko ends up uh, on the on the right side. So of are history. we? But are we? Are we talking about Zuko when he's good, like the the Chuck Bass? I'm arc? thinking. I'm thinking without because he had. There's a point where he was like bald except for a ponytail. Not, not a look. Not surely not a look. But then he like shaves his head and then it grows back and that's when he's good. Is when he has like a normal haircut and that. Yeah, I like that Zuko. So since we're talking about Zuko, we can go. I guess we're gonna do this a little bit out of order. We uh, well, we don't have to. No, we let's keep the let's keep it the keep momentum the, right. The flow, yeah. So sure. Go to Zuko. He might. He's right. Okay, Zuko versus <coughs> Linda Flynn Fletcher. Just Phineas's mom. Phineas's mom. Oh, yeah. that's easy for me. It's Zuko, just because f- she's not. Per- if we're just going superficial, she's not particularly thick and she's also wrong pretty, she, well no she's just negligent like if we're if we are talking about personalities she, uh, candace is always like mom there are like several like health and safety code violations going on outside because your sons are building a nuclear missile and mm-hmm. she's like i don't know what you're talking about that bitch is not well here maybe she changes i haven't seen every episode well, y- well we're talking about her yes no, no, okay, okay. <laughs> about her? I don't know what. Can we, maybe, on, can we show this? That might have been an earlier drawing from uh one of the 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 older seasons. Um, <sighs> to say Linda Flynn Fletcher is not thick, I think she was specifically drawn to be thick. Let me see. Her waist is snatched. Linda? But she got a husband who's definitely a cuck, right? Well, I would say so because he's very quiet. He's I think he's British. Ew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh yeah, she is, but I, I think. <sighs> I don't she's know. She's not really my type. She's, she, she's Well, look just, up Zuko. She's just too pointy. Well, this is, I think this is a, a good idea because some of us have limited knowledge of these characters' personalities. We could do how, uh, how, Tell me. what's the likelihood of us giving, doing a one night stand uh, with Zuko these characters? Zuko is 1,000%. Well, I'm, I like, huh? I'm pretty straight. So I feel like most of these, I'd probably lean towards the girl. But if I'm trying to think, let's think in out- the mind of a fully bisexual fifty-fifty person. Yeah. Who, as I am, I think Z- I think Zuko is probably more like attractive. And like I, I know the ladies like that that like eye burn scar. Yeah, he got it from his dad. It's his it's his character. You see the character in that scar. I can fix him. I can. He fixed himself. He had a care. He's good now. Okay. This is what we're talking about, right? (laughs) (laughs) This is what comes up. Okay. So I'm going to, can I say, I think if we're both for Zuko, can we do Zuko? What's your argument? Or not argument, what's your perspective? I have, well, I, Linda Flynn Fletcher would be a great Milfy, right? Mm -hmm. But I, (laughs) I can't. I can't even like be this person. Like it's. It's. I know this feels very un- unnatural. Um, I know this is. Oh, 
I'll go. Uh, I'll go Zuko. Let's do Zuko. I just can't stand for the slander. <laughs> Linda Flynn Fletcher is thick. But she wasn't like super thick. Like here's the thing. There's there are characters that are offensive in how thick they're drawn, where they have no waist and they have. She the, has no. She literally has no, a, but no she waist. She doesn't have like the. She doesn't have like the huge Pixar like ass. This is, I'm just saying that she's like more realistic. Um, I was just no. I was more I'll take it back. She's of, pretty thick. Look at her waist. It's, she's pretty thick. She's snatched. But the chest is the chest is like not. It's crazy. more the shape of her face for me. Yeah, it is her face that it's I'm not into. It's the face for me. Well, I like I like her big ass. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> what is this episode? <laughs> oh my god! I'm so into this. I, this Holy is my shit. favorite. This I'm is so happy crazy. we're doing cartoons and not real yeah. people. Well, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. This is great. I, I'm also. It's funny because uh, th this this might show what kind of crowds I used to run with, but I'm so surprised there's not a My Little Pony character up here. I'm genuinely... I didn't see any. Yeah. I would have put it on Because you know that's there. a huge thing, right? Yes. Um, we could, we, Let's circle back to the beginning. Apple so we Jack have Helen Parr saying. versus Jimmy from Scary Godmother and the Revenge of Jimmy. Arguments? Th this is not... This is really a, a silly debate. Okay, Helen he Parr. had no um, chance. It's Helen. It's like I look up Helen Parr in this... This it, comes up. Let me see. Yep. So we're gonna go Helen. There's no competition. <laughs> That's why to, she's the number one. See, she's she's yeah. Le, she's the LeBron of this. To uh, Jimmy's this is credit, difficult. To Chigo might be MJ, and Who, she's stretchy too. All right. Who's the Who's the famous <laughs> actor? He's British with the eyebrows. He's like famous for the weird eyebrows. He was in. Uh, I think he was in Black Mirror. Who? Oh, oh, Will Will Poulter. Wait, or let me see. Will Will Mahoney Poulter. Poulter. Let me see. He was in uh, We're the Millers. Yes. So to Jimmy's credit, I will say he does have a Will Poulter look to him. If, which, they, did, if they did Scary Godmother, the Revenge of Jimmy, a live action version. He would most certainly play this it. man and, the and, role. And, you know, for the most part, he's not terrible. Like, th this is definitely somebody's type. He looks like a Star Trek character. So They think he's fine. Uh -huh. Yeah, they so think he fine. So while I want to, I want to, I, I don't want Jimmy to just be destroyed. I want him to know that I was thinking of him. That's so with sweet. a heavy heart. With a heavy heart. Well, <laughs> no, not even it. with a heavy ass. <laughs> Get the fuck out. With a heavy <laughs> ass and big eyebrows, Jimmy, you're gone. <laughs> yeah. Sally from Cars That's versus from Squidward. Oh, Sally from Cars. Even though she's a car, she's I thought cute. that was weird. But no, she, but she's so cute. That muffler be gripping gripping but shout out malik she's on twitter it's also a pretty car like she's supposed to be like kind of like yeah. a porsche right that baby blue porsche or whatever the however the fuck you pronounce no her that. name is sally no i know but she <sighs> looks like a porsche you porsche? Say, it's a pronounced porsche i think it is porsche huh i want to say yeah i want to say it's no because i've been hearing porsche more than ever for some reason in the last yeah. like, year because i yeah. think and i'm like why are they saying it because like somebody on twitter debunked it they're like it's not porsche it's porsche is porsche french or is it italian you know or is it german or is it one of those like <laughs> that's a lot of languages no no no. Mm. i i just mean like what is the is history of this car because there are some <laughs> german cars that you know that that have uh a very vibrant history and i wondered if yeah, she's supposed to be like a Porsche. Is Sally a vibrant car or is Squidward the fishy fish? Let me see Porsche. He's not even a fish. He's a squid. squid. No, he's an octopus. No. He's I think squid. he has eight legs. Let me look. Have Hold you on, because this is this is gonna be important. If no. a por if Porsche He has another he has nine legs. Okay. Hold on. So I just want I just want to point this out. It's not canonical, like, it's not confirmed that Sally is a Porsche, but if she was and I think she's supposed to be designed to look like a Porsche. Porsche is a German car. And for most of the automobile companies, there was a certain point of time where uh, in the 1940s where those cars were used for certain activities. So I'm not saying that Sally from Cars is a fascist. I'm just saying that she might have a certain lineage that, that's questionable. And, uh, okay, do you have... No, you okay. go. I... I mean, we could just move on. To who? Who's winning? To S Sally. Sally. Sally wins. No squid. No love for Squidward. The man doesn't wear pants. Uh, Does that make him sexy? It makes him confident. <laughs> no, he's so, so if insecure. I, if I though. pulled up in here with no pants, you're and not a squid, on. Will. So if I was a squid and I came in here with all, <laughs> I'd my be like, "What? Legs the, why is a squid here?" <laughs> and I'd be like, "Oh, okay. He don't got no pants on." SpongeBob. Versus okay, I guess we're going with Sally. That's that's fine. 
Um, Sponge. No, 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 no. Let's hear it. Let's hear what you have to say about Squibby. Squidward has a job. He has a big house. He can provide so you for want, you. You want him to provide for you. Well, Squidward, if we're doing one night stand, I know Squidward's clean. That episode where he was in the bath and SpongeBob walks in, <laughs> I know Squidward gets clean. He, he, he seems yeah. like a he selfish play a lover. Clarinet. Maybe. Like he just seems like he's he's so out of touch and he's trying so hard to be like somebody that he isn't. Like he's trying so hard to be an intellectual. He's trying so hard to be an artist. I just feel like he'd be so insecure that he'd be a bad. Did lover. you not see Bold uh, and Brash? Uh, Bold and Bold Brash. And brash. How do you so make Vor of a car? SpongeBob versus Ember from Danny Phantom. Let me look at Ember. 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 Danny oh, Phantom. Ember. <sighs> I She's feel like your it would type. Just be awkward. Sorry. I feel like it would. <laughs> I feel like it would just be <laughs> awkward with Sponge. With Sponge. I feel like he makes some weird noises that I'm just like, all right, you're doing too much. <laughs> No, I feel like he. I genuinely think. Yeah. I genuinely yeah. think he's a virgin. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't need to hear him gurgling. That's awesome. <laughs> so that's getting clipped. Sponge, sponge, sponge. He has so many holes. Sponge, sponge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> I'm gonna sponge. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Wait. 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 She bobs on my sponge till I square pants. She plays with the square in my pants. <laughs> till I till I sponge. Uh, till I soak it up like a sponge. That's SpongeBob. Sammy, I hope you know, and you know you. I know that you know this, but you are a genius. Why is uh, this my type? <laughs> what do you mean? How is that your Just type? Away from that. What do you mean? That's not the right one. You know that this is your type. Blue hair, weird eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> weird uh, blue hair. I don't think you're on point at all. I'm going to die on this So hill. who are you voting for? Ember or Spongebob, Will? It's Hi, Ember. Ember. Yeah, yeah. It's Ember. <laughs> Me yes. being my bisexual self. It's gotta, like, be. it's gotta be. SpongeBob, her. yeah. Wow. SpongeBob does ten, have a job and shit. I wish there were 10 of her. So then she could be um, December. Or Tenber. <sighs> Will's also a genius. I'm not gonna top either of those things that you just said. I'm well, not gonna top, top SpongeBob either. No! <laughs> <laughs> shit! Yeah. You're just quick. You yeah, know how you, don't you, know how you say, I would let her. Yeah. I, I normally never have the impulse to say something like that until I see her because she does look like she would dominate me. So I, I would the let The purple her. lipstick's a little much. No. The upside down eyeliner is like, all right, what are we doing? But she's like a rock star all character. All right, well. Look at her with her. Like, she sends like love hearts. I like That's her. cool. Ember, so we're going to do Ember. Ember was she one looks of, like she ruined me. Ember was one of my picks. Yeah. Because I knew, I knew there, was, there was something there. Isn't there like a girl band from Scooby Doo? Yeah, the Hex Girls. The, okay, they. I look couldn't put all the Hex Girls in there. You couldn't put them like as a as a as trio. A unit? <laughs> are we are we do, having a threesome? That's not fair. No, 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 no. Well, we, that wouldn't come in. It would just be like considering their attractiveness each. Of the, you so know? then I then that means I could put Fanboy and Chum Chum. <laughs> she's could, not. She's not it for you. Of the Hex Girls, who's your favorite Hex Girl? Um, I think it's pretty obvious. Let me see. Well, I guess y'all of them. I guess okay, so there's a blonde hex girl. There's a, uh, a, I guess her hair is black, but there's some like red fringe. Let me see him. And then there's like a ginger hex girl. Here. <laughs> Sorry, my screen protector is gross. If we're talking, hmm. I feel like it's the it's the black hair. If we talk in top left, I'll go with redhead. Mm. If we talk in top right, I'll go with black hair. If we talk in bottom left, I'm going to go with red hair again. For sure. And if we talk in bottom right, that one's tough. Let me see. I'm going to go with the middle. And we'll show, for, we'll show. To, to, for to explain audio... for the audio listeners, I'm showing him different. And for Will. Different generations. <laughs> and, for, and for Will also. There were different uh, designs for the Hex Girls over the years. And so their designs changed in the original design. It's interesting that you like the ginger because I'm just not into the ginger. But yeah, here for Will. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so somebody's clearly not as invested as I am. As we're, uh, I don't know who the heck girl is. Larry the They're lobster. The band in Scooby Doo or Lola Bunny. Larry the lobster, Lola Bunny. This is Will easy. It's Lola Bunny. I know. I don't know Lola Bunny. I know Larry the lobster. It's gonna okay. be Lola Bunny. But Larry. Mm -mm. So strong. No, man. Am this I is right, an guys? unfair. This is an unfair Larry. first, because like Larry, 
could like, probably go in. Yeah, but I'd be sore for a while. With the with the for days. The big the, meaty claws. Yeah. yeah, actually, yeah. Then he couldn't like choke me or anything. He snap your yeah, head he would off. Snack my- <laughs> Um, giving my full you Lola know, Bunny. Like bisexual. this is an unfair first round because Lola Bunny, like looking at this. Yeah, that you can't. I mean, I don't think Larry the Lobster was designed with like sex appeal in mind, but Lola Bunny, they had like five yeah, actually, creepy animators be like, How do we make her like fuckable? There's a a a clip of Larry the Lobster. I think he's punching something and he's going, Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Nothing imagine can- um, I yeah, we could go Lola Actually, Bunny. Actually, yeah, Larry's... Uh-uh. That's what I mean, Larry... His, no, 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 his whole thing, he's nothing but big. Don't like, we like big? Or or I guess some people don't like big. Some people don't like big, but... I don't do we think like his, big from Sex in the City? Also, no. Oh, my God. No, he doesn't train his fucking biceps. I, look on. at his forearms. <laughs> <laughs> and then look at his biceps. Sammy, This I, dude... He skips arm he, and leg day. <laughs> yeah. I would just like to say, uh-huh. I don't find big endearing. I find him, I find Carrie and Big both appalling characters. Not appalling, but I both don't like them and they deserve each other. Mm. So when I see them, I'm not like, oh my God, finally they deserve. It's more like, yeah, good. You stay with each other and make each other miserable for decades. Good. I haven't yeah. seen the new one, but like. Uh, what are we talking about? Sex and Okay, scene. then that's a spoiler. Um, And I won't spoil for anyone who hasn't seen the new stuff as well. He dies, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what I thought. <laughs> Um, I mean, like, how else? How else do you have that show without Carrie being like? What oh is she going to just be married then? She's, now she's happy. Let's talk about Yay. something else. Larry the Lobster. Okay, Lola Larry the Bunny. Lobster is moving on. No. What? Okay, fine. No, Lola, Lola Bunny, Bunny is Lola moving Bunny. on. That's Larry's. Let's not be Larry's se- got a weird shape. Looking at him He's again. He's not. He he doesn't have a sexy build. He sort no. of like a. So Prince German. Naveen versus. Cinderella, Prince Charming. Look up Cinderella, Prince Charming, okay. and look up Prince Naveen. Prince Naveen. Oh, Prince Charming from Cinderella. Yeah, Prince Naveen, his fine this ass. Guy. Cinderella. Yes, yes. That's what. That's oh, the picture that I, Prince, I was seeing. Prince Naveen for sure. His fine ass. For sure, Prince Naveen. Cause, cause there's just nothing. No. Why, his hair looks. No. Oh, there's nothing behind those eyes. Mm-mm. Nothing. He he gives me um, he gives me like waiting for my mother to die so I can take the throne vibes. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, that's a big. He wants that inheritance. Yeah, Naveen is a is an easy yes. And he was a frog, so he's a little bit humble. Yeah, he he is humble. Yeah. Also, he's just dressed nicer. He got that drip. He really does. Like he doesn't. He doesn't seem silly or goofy. No, he seems like he'll get the job done. The Prince Genuinely. Charming dude looks like he was like designed in like five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> like he he's so simple. He has no facial. <laughs> no. I think it's just because those animators were so overworked, and they were like, "What's beautiful?" And they were like, "No discernible facial features." That's mm-hmm. what what is the most beautiful thing. Yeah, Prince Na- Naveen. Yeah, Naveen he, for sure. I'd say yeah. All right. Also, he plays an instrument. It's an I don't, easy one. He has probably personality. I haven't seen the princess. What is this from? Princess and the Frog. Princess and the Frog. So Jim Hawkins and Frozone. Jim Hawkins. Where does that take place? That's a. It's an American, right? Ooh. What Jim Hawkins? No, the, no, no. The, the Princess and the Frog. That's supposed to be American. It's right? uh, yeah. It's in Louisiana. Oh no, wait, Norman. I did know that. Norman. Jim Hawk. I don't know who this is, but he looks so moody. Jim Hawkins. Yeah, he's got. He's like kind of like uh. He yeah. <laughs> fuck you, mom. Yeah. I met someone in a hospital that looked like this. Who Frozone? Is this an no, editor? No, Jim is this Hawkins. Real? Is this a fan thing? Or this, is this might be like a still wait, from wait, wait, like wait. in motion. Frozone from okay. The Incredibles. Yeah, look at him in his turtleneck. Okay, I'm gonna say Frozone just because I love his personality, and Jim Hawkins <sighs> looks too moody for me. Like he looks like somebody I would I would like crush on at a at a concert. Like just from afar, I'd be like, oh, I'd fantasize my life with him. But it, I know that the minute I speak to him, right, Kat, Kat's shaking her head. Yeah, that is such a hard yes. Like you are yeah. so right in that. Yeah. So your vote is for Frozone because I don't I don't see myself with Jim Hawkins. I I see myself with him. Well, Frozone could do like a little temperature play. Yeah. Yeah, he could do he some can... cool stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool stuff. Yeah, some cool yeah. cold things. Also, he was just funny. He was. I think yeah. He could he... make me laugh. Where's my super suit? How does that movie start? Does it start with the? 
I think it starts with the flashback where they uh, are the, the superheroes from like the eighties or something. Okay, so other than like the montage explaining the situation with superheroes, doesn't it like go straight into him with the with the ice scene? Like I'm just getting yeah. a drink. Just such an yes, iconic. Yes. Scene. God, Pixar I'm was so thirsty. incredible. I'm, <laughs> I'm thirsty. I'm just getting a drink. Of so water. much swag from Frozone. Jim Hawkins yeah. is just such a like. He's such a 2023 looking yes. boy. Yes, that's such a good. Just way to boring. Describe. He has a he is a vlogger YouTube account where he takes videos of him sitting in his room playing with his guitar. Yes. Ugh. Oh, um. Yeah. So we're gonna say Frozone. So this one might be a little bit lopsided. We got Buzz Lightyear versus Shigo. Sh- yeah, that's hard because I'm gonna give it to Shigo, obviously. But Buzz might have a little nope, little light nope. in his year. This is not. This is not up for discussion with myself. I like. I. I think Buzz Lightyear. Look at Buzz's thick ass, though. Nope. Not. It's not even up for debate. He's so like broad. If both do of, infinity. If both of those cartoon characters were to come into this room, and I would, Ew. if they were to tell me like you have to, you have to be with a cartoon character, and it's between Buzz Lightyear and Shigo, this is no competition. Fuck Buzz Lightyear. You wouldn't even you're consider gonna fuck, Buzz. You're gonna fuck Buzz Lightyear, really? No, all right, you have I'm it on fucking record. Shigo. So we we have to break this. Her vote is for Buzz. So what do no, we think? it's not. It's for <laughs> it's for this character. Look up Buzz Lightyear though. Give him a chance. Um, let me let me take a look. Give him a chance. Let me take a look. What do you think, Will? No competition. Mm. No. Co- what? With that <laughs> goofy face? Look him up in the cartoon. Is like I'm not even that. I'm not even that big of a fan of the Shigo, but Buzz Lightyear is kind of chopped. <laughs> He's, he's just a little chubby. What? He's he just no. Looks, he's broad. He, no. He's big boned. He looks like the caterpillar from A Bug's Life. He's a toy. He looks like a caterpillar from a bug. Yeah, I'm not trying to fuck a toy. Well, he has. That's not true. His sorry. chin is huge. No, it's it's a. This is a clear win for me. We're gonna do Shigo. I'm should sorry. I should I replace the other Prince Charming with the crimson chin? This guy. Yeah, him, the Republican <laughs> Buzz Lightyear. I'm good. The Chris Buzz Lightyear Pratt who was at bu- January 6th. <laughs> that's so funny. Because that's so accurate, too. I know, Shigo, there's nothing special about Buzz Lightyear to me. That, there's nothing special for either of them. That Buzz Lightyear from the Pixar movie Shigo. definitely has uttered the words Nancy Pelosi. Like, he looks crazy. He's uttered some other words that I would say are questionable. If you ask uh, him what he thinks yeah. about the letter Q, I bet he'd have a lot of things to say. Q is coming. I'm not a mm. fan of... Like why is she so angry? Who is she go? <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's. And I don't like the she, black lips. No, nah, she's angry. She's evil. She is evil. She's right? mad all the time. But that's so. Re- I just, I, I just also really like her character design. Like I always really liked from Kim Possible, just the upper lip to define the mouth and the mm-hmm. fact that she does have black lipstick. It's just, a, it's a, it's a really subtle but bold choice that yeah. I like a lot with the character. Where are design. the smiles? I want to see a smile from her. Are well, you telling you'll her to smile s- more? Whoa. I, yes. So we'll see, Let's see those a smile bites. from Mulan Let's see those versus Mufasa. <laughs> Ooh, Mulan versus Mufasa. Let's look at Mulan. Mulatto. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Juicy. Mini made. Wait, it, uh, I've never seen Mulan. I like what I see. A boss like you needs a boss like me. Is that Lotto? Is that her song? Is Lotto from Mulatto? The okay. word? Mufasa. I think so. Mufasa? Yeah. Huh. You I'm pretty sure. No, not Mugasa. Mufasa. Mufasa. Actually, okay, this is this is difficult. Um, uh, is it really? Kind of, yeah. I one of them is a lion. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, again, I'm trying to I'm not I'm not only being bisexual here. I'm also trying to be a furry. Like I'm trying to I'm trying to give everybody a chance. Keep here. it objective. I'm trying yes, to keep it objective. But he's a lion and Mulan is I like Mulan. I don't know. Mul- I think Mulan's just not my type uh-huh and the lion is or more so than the than the human which mulan. you know what mufasa commands the presence he's got a big bassy deep voice yeah, I, I don't know how to explain it it's more just like she's not my type of woman but mufasa though he is a lion has more of the characteristics of like he embodies a certain aspect of masculinity that has to do with paternity like he's he is such a good father he's a great father that i'm kind of i'm into mufasa more than i am into milan even though i have a lot of respect for milan and what she did i'm 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 gonna say mufasa mufasa i i I like mufasa's voice is so deep that the vibrations of his vocal cords if he got close enough 
I think the could vibrations could. Come. Yeah. Yeah. So with that, I would probably go with Mulan. Okay. Yes. She, um, I, she's so like strong yeah. and independent. She really did the damn thing. Well, and maybe I'll okay. talk to Mushu. Yeah. Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen Mulan in a very long time. I didn't even realize that Mushu was played by Eddie Murphy. Yeah, I've never seen Mulan. That's, that must be hilarious. They had that. They had Robin Williams for fucking Aladdin. Eddie Murphy and they for had Eddie two Murphy. or for two characters. Donkey. Well, that's DreamWorks. That's but, DreamWorks. But still, but those were just such incredible comedians, and they were so good at voice work. Like, what an incredible! You think Timothy Shout? Do you think any of the current comedians that are around right now? You think Shane Gillis is gonna make a, a wonderful Pixar movie? Wonka no. might be good. You never know. Yeah, you I never know. I don't want to shit, I, but there, he, Timothy Chalamet is, is not going to be as good as Eddie Murphy or Robin Williams. I mean, that's just a given. Well, he's not a comedian. Yeah, uh, th- Timothy Chalamet is not uh, the best example. I think it's more who who are the equivalents now? I guess it would be like The Rock, it, Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart. Yeah, true. Kevin Hart is has done a lot of voice work. Yeah, but it, again, like nobody, nobody will. I I know Donkey. Like Donkey is made because of Eddie Murphy. You don't know the rabbit from Secret Life of Pets? No. And also, he was annoying in that movie. I I do I know Secret Life of Pets, and I thought he was annoying in that. What about the Batman dog from DC Super Pets? Yeah, maybe he didn't have he doesn't stand a chance because all of those were like very forgettable. I think even the bat Batman dog. Yeah, I think those are forgettable. Jasmine versus Debbie Thornberry. Wait, let me who won? S- let me Mulan, see right? Debbie Mulan Thornberry. Did yeah, <clears throat> that's why Mufasa. I think yeah, he has the the handicap of being a creature. So Jasmine, what movie? Whoa, uh, Aladdin. This is Debbie Thornberry. That is Debbie. Yeah, okay. I don't know why she was on any of these lists. Well, and I'm not trying to, I'm I'm not trying to roast you in any way, but this is also. In a sense, the kind of woman that you're into. Wow, <laughs> you just, you're Brit. You have no idea what you're talking about. You have no clue. Well, <laughs> I'm, playing, I'm, playing, but... I'm sorry. Um, I I do have an idea of what no. I'm talking about. I'm not saying her face. I'm saying her vibe. I like. I mean, I like the way she dresses. I don't like her face or her. Well, that's hair. what. That's kind of what I'm talking about. Is it, it is her vibe? I feel like is close. Huh? Wow, or Will. or Jasmine? Well, you are interesting. Why? You you like Shigo? I you like Debbie Thornberry? I've said no to both. Well, actually. Caroline knows better. Yeah, Caroline knows best. I yeah. forgot. Caroline That's... has seen my matches on Hinge. They all look like Debbie Thornberry. But n- I don't think so. Huh? <laughs> this is it's just my opinion. Jasmine, it, it's wins. just from the data that I've collected, and I've had quite a bit of data relative yeah. to focus groups, the Will focus groups, the Will focus groups. Jasmine is just beautiful. Jasmine, <laughs> this is this it unfortunately is not a competition. Yeah, Jasmine should be. Yeah, Jasmine. Because the other the other girl looks like she's gonna give me crabs. Legitimately, she didn't look like she. she well, they they showers. like the, the yeah, Thornberries were in like the wild. Exactly. She so, doesn't. She didn't look clean. So it Jasmine. Stinks. Jasmine. Yeah, it's genuinely it stinks. Jasmine wins. Jasmine. Jasmine is the winner. Also, I. I she's a tiger. True. Uh, Milo James Thatch. Versus Esmeralda, Milo up. James Thatch. With the Milo Esmeralda. James Thatch. With the, he has the circular glasses. Oh, I've yes. seen this dude before. Ooh, wait, this is actually difficult. This is difficult. I feel like my ex has like, never mind. <laughs> you forgot we were being recorded. Her <laughs> eyes, her eyes are so, like her character design is very Milo? enchanting. No, no Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Oh. Like her, she, yeah. Oh, this is hard. So, okay. Esmeralda is fine. My, okay. Milo, whatever the fuck his name is. Milo James Thatch. So my basic ass um, would probably genuinely be in a relationship with someone that looks like Milo James Thatch. But <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. because, and, I, and I'm recognizing that I have very, very basic taste. <clears throat> and ultimately, he is mid compared to Esmeralda. So I'm going to say Esmeralda. Milo is like... Dudes that like girls in the past have told me not to worry about, and then <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but don't by the way, about by with. the way, you you look at them and you really shouldn't worry about them because there's yeah, not a lot going on behind those eyes, right? But but then they end up having sex with them anyway. So I'm, so I'm, I have a I have a little bit of anger towards Milo. I'm gonna give it to a little Esmeralda. bit of resentment. I'm gonna give so it to we're Esmeralda. gonna go as Esmeralda. Okay, <laughs> out of out of pettiness and spite. If I was with two other people, they probably would have voted Milo. 
They yeah. love them. They love them some circular glasses. Me that too. Fl- that yeah. floppy hair. No, I, I do too. I really do. But Esmeralda is just like, if that, if she were to be a real life person, that would be like an incredible specimen. Yeah. That's a crazy way to put it. But but he he is an really just person. basic. She would, yeah. She you looks- could take any Prince Charming and put circular glasses on them and you get the same response. That's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Give them like the little like bangs like that and the glasses. The it's part. the same the thing. Yeah. It's it's literally just the style. The middle it's, part. Yeah. It it looks like the McDonald's logo. Yeah. Um That'll Daphne Blake versus Max Goof. Daphne. Daphne. Why is Daphne so why is she 27? Uh at towards the end I was just kind of putting names. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. At the beginning I was actually thinking see. about it and then yeah. I was like it it's hard to visualize who's yeah. going up against who. I think Elastigirl was a was a solid choice so I don't question I don't question. Well, Max Goof, he no. really like he he went through all that trouble to go to that concert to impress that girl. He'll go to great lengths to just be a good guy. The tooth gap is crazy though. I just I... love <laughs> Hanna Barbera. It's, it's genetic. His it's, his dad is goofy. But like, imagine kissing that your tongue is gonna be up in that, like his tongue's gonna be sneaking through that gap into your mouth. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Also, isn't also that there... snout's gonna get in the fucking way. I I I might be so far. I, off are we here. not talking about fucking cartoon characters? Yes, we are. Like, why are you looking like disgusting? No. We're talking about having sex with cartoon characters. And I'm imagining his tongue going through his fucking <laughs> gap too. Thank you for putting that visual in my mind. Will appreciate it. Yeah. I, I was gonna say something more disturbing because I am aware, and and maybe I'm far off, but there are like. Maybe within furry communities, there's a, a whole thing where like Goofy is trying to fuck his son. All right, let's go with yeah, Daphne let's, Blake. We're go with Daphne um, Blake submitted. Yeah, Daphne. Also, I really like Hanna Barbera characters. Like, I like the way that they design women. Yeah, they're they're very um, I don't know, beautiful. It, it, no, it just aesthetically speaking, it, like the the character design is really cool. Um, Magar- that's Magara. That's from the, the newish. Who's Magara? Uh, from Hercules. Um, and then Flynn know. Rider from Tangled. Megara. Mm. Uh, okay. You say um, I don't like her face. I don't like her nose. I think she's too <laughs> angular. Don't so like I'm... the way she talks. Like the way she dresses. Do you say <laughs> caramel or camarel? Also, yeah. Run that back one more time. Ooh, my girl. No, I'm I'm not into this. I I I. We we'll just went. Ooh. Her character design is like too much. It's just t- too much and not cool. So I'm gonna say. Sorry, Flynn Rider. What do you think, Will? Um, she has some interesting hair and some interesting cheekbones that I'm not yeah, the ex- biggest fan of. Yep. But I don't know who Flynn Rider is. Flynn Rider. Look up I'll, Flynn Rider. I'll, I'll, from, look, I'll from give Tangled. you the I'll give you the This is Flynn Rider from Tangled. Yeah. Also, Flynn, but I don't like his little weird little soul patch. Neither do I. <laughs> but he, I he I is he is someone that I've I've been with before and he's someone I'll end up with again. You know, him and Rapunzel, like Rapunzel, probably getting it. He's truly oh yes. Look at the look at this. Just replace the sure. knives with something else. You know? right. I see the appeal. <laughs> I see the appeal for Flynn Rider. I'll go. We could go Flynn Rider. Thank you. But yeah, Flynn Rider. Yeah, I think. Also, he is that. like kind of charming because he's supposed to be like the bad guy. Kovu. You know? Kovu. Kim. Look up Kovu Lion King, and then look up Kim Possible. Oh, this is gonna be a, a, another like e- no, it's it's Kim Possible. Yeah, I don't. There's no competition. People were saying Kovu was fine. Huh? Why are you shrugging? <laughs> Why is cat? Do you shrugging? agree? I might agree. Wait, Kovu ah, is kind of fine. I also was for Mufasa. What? <laughs> Okay, cat. Wait, I'm sorry. You're scroll a cat. Up. You know that's it's all right. Oh. Scroll up. Who was who was against Mufasa? Uh, Mulan. Ah, oh, that's wild. That's okay. Um, we like we like. There's animals just something here. about him. <laughs> something about so, him. So no, because also his character design, he looks like too babyish. He looks too like cutesy. Yeah. I this is I, to me uh, not even a thought. I would be so upset if we didn't do Kim. Will is thinking about this, which is <laughs> no, Will, let, let me there's know. There's no way. No, no, no. I'm gonna I would be genuinely see, upset. I don't see the appeal with Kim Possible, but okay, continue. If you're that, uh, I'm a different. Uh, we can go with Kim Possible. Yeah. Uh, no, Will. I will be. I will Kobu, be genuinely upset. I see set. the appeal with Kovu. I see. I I see the eye scar. I see the like he's cute. 
You can't like Zuko and then not like Kovu. No, I was about to say, I was just about to say, I have Zuko, which is why I don't need the lion version of him. Oh. Kim Possible. Yeah, Kim Possible. I love, I just, just, I just love her character design. That even beyond like the whole like whatever the sexual tra- I just genuinely Is love the design of her character. Kim Possible. Look up pictures so. of Kim Possible. <laughs> um, Kovu. Yeah, we, we. I guess we have to go with Kim. Yeah. I love. No, I just love her design. Like she's so. It's so dynamic and like the. T- she got the her baggy face pants. Is a circle. <laughs> <laughs> her face is nothing but a circle. No, it's not about the face. It's about her, the body and the the design of her character. The she body? just has. Well, she I has agree. a great Kim aesthetic. Isn't all that. I don't think there's Kim better. Is aren't there? What was the other Kim there's Possible better character? She go. Yeah, I think, I'd yeah. rather she go than Kim Possible. There are better redheads in media too. Yes, that's true. Better redhead. Daphne's a good one. <sighs> Daphne uh, Duck. Guys, da- yeah, da- Daphne. Anyone Duck, watching yeah. the podcast? Because I know there has to be at least one of one or two of you that understand what I'm going through right now. Please write paragraphs explaining yourself. And tell us, ladies. And stand with me. And, and ladies, tell us why Kovu's the right choice. Wait, what's our demographic like on the podcast? Because I know. Oh, also, uh, did you see my text? Yeah, I did. That was <laughs> funny. It worked. The, our, yeah, our uh, the Twilight video, our female audience literally doubled. It went from 3% to 6%. <laughs> for that, at least for that video, that's so, great. So that's that's. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, David. Co- how do you pronounce his his last name? I'm not sure. From actually. Lilo and Stitch. And uh, we're not gonna do Prince Charming. Let's do Rapunzel. I just thought about it. Rapunzel. So, yeah. So that's Rapunzel now. Okay. It, it, it maybe it says Prince Charming. It says Rapunzel. That's what it says. This is difficult because I really, I really, I've always really liked her character design. She was a part of the. I'm trying to think what came before her. Frozen came before Rapunzel, right? But okay. Tangled came before. I think Tangled was before Frozen. Let me see. Let this. me look it up. I, I, either way, like I really liked the direction that Disney went in with their character design when they started doing 3D. Yeah, Tangled came before. When they started doing 3D uh, Disney princesses, I I just always really liked her design. So yeah, she's cute. So I'm gonna say, even Rapunzel's though, cute, but that hair would be annoying as hell. They, she they cuts cut it. it off. She cuts it. Look up. Uh, oh, no, Rapunzel don't, because that hair. might that might change his mind. She looks like Florence Pugh. She's really. I I really like her. I'm gonna say Rapunzel. Yeah. Does we'll, go, look, we'll go Rapunzel. Look up David though. <laughs> we'll, we'll That's da- nope, David. Nope. David is cute, and he's like. Ch- wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, I don't know who David, David is. David is chiseled. He's he treats Lilo's what is it sister? I treats be- him, treats her right. I didn't watch. The I didn't watch Lilo and Stitch Y'all when I was a kid, crazy. so I bet if I saw it, I probably feel differently. Lilo and Stitch is so good, such a great. That's such an interesting looking man. Look at him. He's he's kind of nose he's, is something. He's broad. No, his, his body the body is what we're looking at. That's all you need. I'm gonna still say Rapunzel just because I also kind of like her like her 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 general vibe. Yeah. Okay, we could do we could do Rapunzel. That yeah. says Rapunzel. That doesn't say. But Prince I bet Charming. if I if I watched Lilo and Stitch when I was younger, I'd probably have different feelings. I wish I put. There are yeah. so many snubs. There was Elsa and Anna that I was gonna put on. Yeah, like, that... there were so many that I couldn't fit in. Yeah. But, uh, Lightning McQueen versus Jessica Rabbit. I'm gonna say Jessica Rabbit. Also, if Lightning McQueen, what about Anna versus Elsa? Just as Anna. a hypothetical. Yeah, me too. I'd say Anna. Well. I don't know. She always was a little too stupid for me. Where I was like, "Can we?" Well, Anna. Mm. No, but I I do yeah. like her more Anna. than just visually than Elsa. I would say Elsa because she could sing. Yeah. But damn, I Kristen. think Anna just just looks better. I think Kristen Bell can sing. Uh, over Adina Menzel. <sighs> no, but I'm not saying. I'm just saying that she, it's not that she couldn't sing. No, but Adina Menzel is a Broadway powerhouse. Oh, of course. So Adine Mazine. Adele Dazim. Adele Dazim. Adele Dazim is a powerhouse. Yeah, no, th- but there's, yeah. Uh, Anna's just a little bit like, beep, beep. Um, so are we doing Jessica Rabbit or? She would destroy <laughs> me. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, Je- this is the thing. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit is designed to be everything that. What the fuck is wrong with your mind? <laughs> this shit is fucked up. The screw is fucked. I like how casual yours is. Wow. Yeah, Jessica well, Rabbit is, is all up is, in my mouth. Uh, you, you, got, you guys have to lean in towards the mic. The mic leans in towards me. Okay, Mike. Little little Will. Uh, uh, Jessica Rabbit wins. Jessica, Sorry, Lightning. Why yeah, is it? Is she Strip Weathers is better. Wait, is she a rabbit? 
Why no. Is, no. Why is Jessica Rabbit? Because she can. Roger she can. Because she has the sex drive of a rabbit. Is no, that that's that no. I made that up. Um, but that would make sense. Helen Parr versus Sally from Cars. Oh, Helen, no comp. Sorry. Nothing about the muffler. But also, I looked up the history of Portia, and but they she, made tanks. she has nothing to do with that. She is clearly designed. If I look up, hold on, let me look up. She has nothing to do with what her great great grandparents did. That's true. The muffler be gripping. So, I'm gonna say Helen. Yeah, Helen twerk challenges. Also, because yeah. I really like Holly Hunt's voice. Like, I just like her voice in general. Like, when she's in Succession, I just like I just love to listen to her. We're Who not voices? thinking about the. What we're, we're thinking about the voice? No, wait, that's a part of we're it. We're not thinking about the specifics of the sex, right? What? We are like, a little where, bit. Where am I putting it? In oh, the muffler. Oh, the pra- you're talking about practically fucking a car. In the muffler, which is gripping apparently. I'm gonna say Helen a just because metal cause... muffler. <laughs> She has you like can a use oil. like a southern midwestern accent. There's no friction. Where's Holly Hunt? It's just from? a smooth Texas. piece of metal, a chunk of metal. Not to objectify this car, but Holly Hunter. She is has a mouth. Is what I meant to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she a tongue. Elastic girl. The cars wins. have tongues, right? Oh yeah, because Lightning McQueen stuck out his tongue to win the race. To win the, <laughs> to win the race. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> okay. Wait, let's revisit the Lightning McQueen. He got a long ass tongue. Yeah, yeah. He could do things with that. Zuko versus Ember. I forgot what Ember looks like. Oh, she's from Oklahoma. That makes sense. Cause she has like a Holly Hunter has like a Midwestern, like Southern. Wait, what's accent. Ember from? Danny Phantom. Um, Ember versus Zuko. Okay, this is gonna be difficult. Too too goth. I'm gonna say like Zuko. Moody. I'm gonna say Zuko again. Sorry. Actually, I'm curious because we're in the top 16, right? Yeah. How many animals made it through the first round? Lola Bunny. That was two. That was two animals. I guess you could say Sally because she's a car. <laughs> uh. Most of the animals. most of them are human. Yeah, most of them. Le- oh, yeah, yeah. Most of them left. Okay. Yeah, cool. sorry about that. How I was trying are, to be impartial. How many of them are dudes? It it seems it actually seems it's pretty half and half. Flynn Ryder is one. Prince Oh no, no that's Rapunzel. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh Flynn Frozone. Ryder, Frozone. But that's going to be Prince Naveen. Zuko. Zuko. So I'm going to say Zuko. I want, I had I wanted to do more dudes. Like I I would have done Kuvo, maybe Buzz. Maybe I'm going to di- I'm going to Maybe just, David. Is is Cat here? Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, so Zuko. What do you think? So Zuko. Will. What do you think, him? Yeah, Ember's not really. It's like upside down eyeliner, really. Yeah, it's not. She's not serious. Like, just, why are you making a musical note like a treble clef? Out I of it? liked Ember because she could sing. Yeah. So, yeah, I've never. The thing is, I've never seen either of these. Yeah, I if, like Zuko because he has a, a a wonderful character arc, and it's it's a beautiful show. I like singers; they can sing and sing. Lola, um, but oh, Prince Prince Naveen versus Lola Bunny. Whoa! I'm gonna say Prince Naveen. What? That's a hard one. Th- this is easy for me, just because this is my straightness coming out a little bit. This is also my straightness coming <laughs> out <laughs> because Lo- Lola I Bunny would let bang. her <laughs> <laughs> like. The thing, yeah. <laughs> the thing, what thing? The thing. Speak on it. No, the she is so like attractive. <sighs> the things you guys make, make me <laughs> do. But Prince Naveen is just so like. She could do. I genuinely on. would want like a, like a. You know how she was playing basketball. She no. could. She could play with. She could ball up. She could. Oh, Prince Naveen or Lola Bun- Bunny I- Cat. I got it. I have to go with Lola Bunny. That is hard, I will say. Um, what what's your what's Lola instead Bunny? Instead of three, let's do five, so that way we get more of a vote. Thank you. Mm. I agree. Yeah. 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 Very yeah. nice. Well dressed. Yeah. 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 He's so cool. Yes, that's so romantic. So, I t- hmm. to your point because it's true. the The culturally relevant thing to do would be to say Lola Bunny, but practically speaking, I think we all know that Prince Naveen's the winner. So, so even if we, Naveen, what cat? What do you think? 
I agree. Maybe. I think I think I think I might agree with with Naveen because he's just that he's just that dude. He is Lola the... Bunny is nice and maybe we could talk afterwards after <laughs> Naveen. Like I'll call her that up after. But Naveen is that dude. He's just that guy. Yeah. <sighs> okay. With a heavy <laughs> cock or with a heavy heart, <laughs> I <laughs> say we can maybe move on. <laughs> A lot of turbulence. And it's heavy because of Naveen. <laughs> because Moving of on. Yes. No, sorry. Oh, what is it? Oh, gosh. All right. Frozone versus Shigo. This is genuinely Shigo. hard. Because I do really like. <sighs> do we have to phone a friend for this one, too? Maybe three's not enough. Let's do a five, man. Frozone. <sighs> no, I'm going to say Shigo just because Fro Frozone is not. Sh Shigo is. Yeah. She's. I'd let her. Can't let a black man win. <laughs> Frozo reminds me of my dad. I don't know. You really? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll do she we'll do Shigo <laughs> then. I think I think Shigo makes sense. Frozone got far though. Frozone yeah. I think is yeah. a cool, cool dude, but Mulan. Ooh, this whoa. is difficult. I'm gonna say Jasmine. I'd say Mulan. <gasps> this is tiebreaker. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> What's Jasmine from again? Aladdin. Aladdin. Although I think that Mulan is a better character than Jasmine. If it was live action Jasmine versus live action Mulan, I go with Jasmine. Okay. But cartoon, probably Mulan. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing Mulan. I think so. All right. Probably Mulan. I'll give it to Mulan. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just indifferent towards her character design. Like she, she doesn't look like. She just looks like a a doll. Like she doesn't look real. If that yeah. makes sense, the character design just feels off for me. Where yeah, like, a lot of these don't look real. Like, well, no, no, she's just not endearing. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Is like she just she just looks too cutesy that there's nothing to hold on to. Yeah, it just feels too fake. It's like Hello Kitty, where there's just like it's vacant. No, I, that makes sense. But with this, we got two. Arguably more realistic looking Ooh. characters with Esmeralda and Daphne. My vote would be Esmeralda. I'm gonna My say Esmeralda. Damn. Wait, was it Daphne? Yeah. What? Why? Um, look at Esmeralda. Esmeralda is like Esmeralda beautiful. Is like, damn. Yeah. Her, um, if you saw someone like that with evil. those eyes. Whoa. The is that because she's Romani? The devil dwells for no. Esmeralda. That's da -da. a good musical. So then there's only this on the alarm. Esmeralda was like the variation Esmeralda. that everybody at YGP did. This is for the dancers that are not listening to this podcast, but YGP, Youth American Grand Prix or whatever the fuck, is a ballet competition in America that's really big. And there were like YGP? Your yeah, giant penis? YGP, yeah. You, you, you're, nope, I can't even think of something to do <laughs> from that. But YGP, yeah. And and Esmeralda was like that and Bluebird were these two variations. That everyone did, mm -hmm. and you just hear that song over and over and over again. Da -na -na, da -na 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 and it was always like a mildly offensive depiction of a Romani woman. Those, yeah, those I like the eyes musical. are so they're so piercing. That's what that's what that's I'm incredible. saying. That's why she's just so. It's like oh, the the piercing eyes. I just like I feel like I couldn't make eye contact. Dang, it's like it's like, you, it's like you looking at me. Yeah, yeah, but then I like at me. I get scared. I would. Be up for the task. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. Esmeralda. That's a that's an easy one for me. <sighs> Sorry, Daphne. I really like this. Daphne this is, is my so... favorite. This is because this is combining like my love for objectifying things, even though I really don't believe in doing that because I think it's a horrible thing to do. Mm -hmm. But I my love for objectifying like things in a just... funny way and just also character design for cartoon characters because I I love illustrating. Yeah, but Daphne is so pretty. Which Daphne? Does she have bangs? No. The bangs, that's that's what does it, the bangs? No, I like her aesthetic she more than I like acne. Esmeralda's. Like, I like her her cute, what'd you say? <laughs> she got the bangs. She she probably got forehead acne. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> and I like the way that she looks at me. You like a nice girl. I do you like, like a nice like, girl. You like a you nice don't. girl. I do like a nice I girl. I like a girl with a little bit of okay. it depends on, with a little depends bit on. Will, anger. I'm sorry. But I do have data, and every <laughs> other time I'm with you, you show me your phone, you're like, she looks evil. 
I need her. <laughs> yeah, but that's a, mostly a joke. That's more like no, if because I, hate my, I if look at them myself. and I think if they're I evil. That's more if I'm like if I have like a lot of self hatred that day, and I'm like I want someone who's gonna ruin me, and then I look on my hands. And... It's like almost every time I hang out with you that you show me a woman that genuinely no. looks a little like a little too like intense, and and they're like trying to look intense in their photos, like they're trying to do like the the you know the whatever. Zuko. Kind the of she go a little bit, yeah, yeah. And, but those are my favorite. The ones that I show you, and I'm like, oh, like I, I just love, I just need her. I, I didn't mean love. That's crazy. I just want. So just want. for everyone on Hinge, if you see Will, uh, he loves you. <laughs> no, oh man, but yeah, that's real. You, so, if you saw Esmeralda on Hinge, you wouldn't be like, oh yeah, it's you. You would, I'm locking I would in. Be more, a lot more likely to match with Daphne. What if she don't want you? I like Daphne's aesthetic more than I like Esmeralda's, but char- like the f- actual character and the design, Esmeralda's is better. Although I love Hanna Barbera, I just think that it's like a more attractive character. Okay, Flynn Rider or Kim Possible? <gasps> this is hard. I don't care for Kim. Wow. Don't Wait, care for Kim. This is hard. I don't really care about either of these. I'm not going to lie. Because Kim Possible is both someone that I'm attracted, I would be attracted to, but I would also want to be. This is the this is the true bisexual dilemma. Um, it's it's either or for me, either or. Great Kim book. does say, "Call me if you want to reach me." She always will be down. So she is available, but that doesn't mean that access. I I think I think just I'm I'm. Like Will said, she's just a circle. <laughs> she really is I, a circle. I think that I I prefer her character design because I, I really am in awe of that character design. I think it's so simple and it just shows so much about her character. She's just like a really nice female cartoon character that doesn't feel like she. Yeah, she's objectified for sure, but th- th- she still feels powerful. That's why I like the character design. But if we're going based on attractiveness, uh, she is a circle. Having sex with a circle is probably a little less interesting than having sex with like a, a high de- poly <laughs> Uh, high polygon, high polygon, <laughs> Flynn Rider. So I'm gonna say Flynn Rider. Flynn Rider's kind of that dude, though. Yeah, I he think. is. He's kind of that guy. Yeah. Um, could... sorry, huh? This is Rapunzel because that is versus Prince Jessica Rabbit. versus Jessica Rabbit. Oh, let me refresh my memory. Yeah, let me look. Jessica Rabbit, I oh I oh this is easy a little bit yeah she yeah so I'm gonna say Rapunzel because Rapunzel seems yes. like approachable. This is like the two. This is the two things again. The, ev- the yeah, evil yeah girl who would ruin me versus girl that but would, it, would hold me and tell me that that everything is gonna be okay. okay. Jessica would be like she she'd like walk in like and be like come here baby like what is that not crazy. Well, yeah, but then I would think that she was... <laughs> is it not? like? But then I would be like, you're not a real person. You were designed by a man. That's what so I would think. So was Rapunzel. I don't know. Th- I th- <laughs> I, sh- Rapunzel was made at the time when they were like, no, we should probably do more the fem- to for girls. And so she's a frying pan. Remember that? That was like a big thing. Like frying pan equals the- feminism. Oh. So I think that j- it, this is just a... This is for me like about progressiveness. Like I think that... Uh, the whole point of Rapunzel and Tangled is that she finds her agency, right? She yeah. finds a sense of agency. And I'm not saying that sexualizing yourself or being sexual in nature is taking away your own agency. It's sure. more just Jessica Rabbit's character is clearly designed by an elderly, elderly man with a with a cock that doesn't work anymore. And he's like, this is fucking hot. Well, the he, no, he's well, jerked off to that. It, the Roger Rabbit movie, it's almost the joke that she's so attractive yeah. because Roger's such a like weird rabbit. Yeah. Why is he why is he with Jessica? Yeah. You know, and and because she is just such a, a caricature and not like a real anything, not like a tangible. It To me, it's it's too vapid. It's too it's the word facile, fat, facial, facile. What, what's the. English pronunciation of the French word. That's facts. I think. <laughs> that feel? Doesn't that I th- mean easy in Spanish? I think Rapunzel. Okay, if we want, fine. We'll get someone who's nice and stuff. We'll do Rapunzel. Okay, that's fine. She okay. she's probably nice and, but and shit. Then again, one night stand. I guess I guess now we're getting into who's we 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 would want to share a life with. That first chunk was one right, night stand. We're just trying yes. to have. Now we've moved on. If we're just fucking. 
we've moved on now. I think we are. I okay. think we, we've got we've gone into the conversation of feminism and progressive. Oh yeah, depictions. you can't lose. <laughs> so well, you can't win now. So what? No, no. What has, can't win. what has happened is we went from one night stands to now we're thinking more about a relationship. Yeah. And now we're already in our relationship. Yeah. So now we're thinking about who can take the next step. I I just feel like as a woman, and and in my mind, I'm having sex with this woman. I think that Jessica Rabbit would not be attentive, but maybe she'd be a wonderful lesbian. I don't know. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your let down your pixie cut. Yeah, yes. Rapunzel. You know, yeah, we'll do we'll do Rapunzel. Okay, Rapunzel. S- you think so she, she's never mind. So this is <sighs> yep. So these are now our girlfriends, but slash boyfriends. Okay. And now we're trying to see who can make it to. Ooh, this is hard. the next level, like a fiance. This is okay. This is actually difficult because I really, really like Elastigirl. Um, I really like her as a mother, and I think she's so well designed. But Zuko we, is his voice and his character is just so like. If Helen Keller doesn't make it past this fucking <laughs> round, <laughs> fucking, if Helen Parr doesn't move past this fucking round, I gotta get rid of Zuko. I don't know why he's still here. Uh, have you watched Avatar? Right? Mo mostly. Okay. I feel like if, because I watched it pretty recently, so he's like still fresh on my mind. I'm gonna, I'll give it to, I'll give it to Elastic Girl, but not, not because she's thickums, but because she is a wonderful mother. I she's was stretchy. Gonna, I, it's okay. I was gonna, no, we're, she's a girlfriend now. Oh, she can't still she's be stretchy. She's an actual okay. mother, so we'll go with. <laughs> I would have, if, if there were any Avatar character I would pick, it would be Korra. Okay, Korra, uh, she. I think relative to the Avatar, like her character always felt like pretty annoying just because she was so like Mary Sue. Do you know what I mean? But with Avatar, him being a Mary Sue, the whole point was that he didn't know what he was doing and that's why it was kind of cute. But with her, it sort of felt like she was trying too hard and she was a Mary Sue and I was just like, shut up. Actually, I would I would love to rewatch both Legend of those of shows. Korra. I'd, I'd rewatch Legend of Korra. It was really good. It was a really great idea for a show, genuinely. Yeah, I don't... I. Yeah, I'd be interested in revisiting those. But we should watch them. Our boyfriend Naveen and our <laughs> girlfriend Shigo. This is this is this is this is a tough one because we don't have Kim, right? We don't have Kim anymore. Kim is gone. <sighs> this is another instance of uh Flynn versus whatever. Who is Flynn against? Well, uh was he against Jessica Rabbit? No. No, Jessica Rabbit was against uh Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Lola Bunny. Oh, okay, yeah, so th- this is another instance of Shigo is just here because I th- she's a circle and I find that attractive. But Prince Naveen is genuinely like a tangible. Like if we're doing fiance, it's very clear. I got to pick Naveen. Naveen. Yeah, He's, it's yeah. Naveen. She- Shigo would like betray me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Ooh. Gotta go Esmeralda. Yeah, Wait, Esmeralda no, hold on. again. All right. That's my vote. Yeah. I gotta do Esmeralda. Sorry, I'm glad that we're You got Rapunzel. I got I did get Rapunzel. Esmeralda, <laughs> yeah, I gotta get Esmeralda. all my mean girls left. I gotta have one. Whoa. Flynn Rider versus so Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Flynn Rider versus fucking Rapunzel. Are they in the same movie? Yeah. I would okay. say Rapunzel, genuinely. <laughs> Rapunzel's moving on. We'll do <laughs> <laughs> this is, she's all I have because left. because he was like he was mid and she elevated him like yeah. I feel like his character arc, arc as a result of meeting her is more important than that's true like she didn't grow because of him technically okay we could do we could do Rapunzel Rapunzel that's easy okay oh wow wait is this the last one yeah this is the last second one second to last oh second to last one Helen four. versus Prince. Top I'm gonna say four. I'm gonna say Elastigirl. Is what is Elastigirl? Princess Prince Naveen. Helen's Prince Naveen, gonna yeah. win. There's no way Helen. It's Helen. I don't yeah. know. Oh, it's Helen. Do you guys both vote? Yeah. For, yeah. Damn, Helen. You were gonna go Naveen above Elastigirl as our like husband? Because think about it. Like she is genuinely a great mother, and she's smart, and she's like down to earth. She's like a Pixar character, which is different than a Disney she's character. Perfect. Yeah. Like what is what is there not to like about her? Her uh, haircut. Yeah, that's real. But she can she change, can change that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Esmeralda I versus Rapunzel. 
I know. Just just let me down easy. Wait, this is this is difficult. Because I haven't seen me. I don't remember Esmeralda's character. And I think that Esmeralda well, this is just difficult because one is a 3D character and the other one is a two dimensional character. And the way that I'm judging them is is very different. Like they just give me different feelings. But the t this is like she's pretty like Let me look at Esmeralda again. She's like very designed. She's not just she's not like Prince Charming from Cinderella where he's just like eyes and a mouth. Oh, for sure, but it's it's because like uh what's her face? Rapunzel kind of looks almost more like a doll than Esmeralda does. Wait, this is difficult. You know what? I'm going to say Esmeralda. If y'all if y'all want your blonde people so bad. No, I'm going to say Esmeralda. She genuinely is more more attractive yeah she 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 makes me feel but something are we are we marrying for looks oh Sounds this is like about we're marriage for looks guys if this is about marriage then i'll do Rapunzel. well i've never seen any of these movies <laughs> i don't know who these people are oh, we're marrying for looks now okay <laughs> look at look at her I, okay okay i i don't know what esmeralda's character is like but i think she is more attractive than rapunzel that's just my opinion All right, let's do it. Yeah, Esmeralda. Those mm -hmm. eyes are just so terrifying. Are like they're like glow in the dark. Great. What is she supposed to be? Oh, she is a Roma girl. Okay. So Roma girl. Last girl versus Esmeralda. This is this is such a fair, like fight. I feel like they both deserve to be up there. We have to do this again with all the cart. Like I, I gotta get bracket HQ. Uh, we can we do this deluxe. again? Wait, wait, I gotta look up. We can um, do more brackets. Elastigirl. Because I, I would go so far as to say that Esmeralda is more attractive than Elastigirl, but the body on Elastigirl is kind of crazy. Like this is genuinely a crazy image. <laughs> And the hair. This is good. How long yeah. have we been rolling? This is like three hours. An hour 24. Okay. It's not that bad. Okay. <laughs> Some of these aren't even real images. I know. I'm trying to figure out which is like the, the canon and what is just porn. Some of these pictures are in fact giving, but. I don't know. Esmeralda is still, I think, more attractive than. Helen Hunt's character, but if it's about marriage, then it would be not Helen Hunt. Helen Hunters. Okay. Well, if we this is Esmeralda got this far, I'm proud of her. But if we're gonna like marrying a superhero is awesome. If it was still one night stand, I'd probably go Esmeralda. Me too. But if if I'm marrying a superhero, then like it, yeah, that's sick. She turned into a boat. Hold on. So let's <laughs> let's let's think about this. Let's think about this. Are we doing this based on when night stand or Esmeralda would have lost to Mulan for me. So I don't I don't even it's we're doing marriage. I, we're marrying I, them. Okay, with with a heavy cock, I say Helen. Helen. I, I say Helen. But I feel like that's such that that everyone knew she was gonna win. I feel like I, from the very I, beginning. I wanted to knock her out at some points, but Me too. But But if Will, you're not you're not mad at this. No right? what? At no, Helen, you Helen like No, you like this. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it all so right. much. Uh, Yay, she won. All right, so Helen won. She Let's won. zoom out. Let's see our final. But bracket. with a heavy cock, I just want to say Esmeralda really had it. I oh, had it so for close. Her. Let's do the retrospective now. Like, let's go back and see how how wild we were. No, I feel like everyone everyone had a fair fight. We were being very reasonable. So. Helen, Helen beat Sally. Helen, Helen actually had a Mickey Mouse run. Like Helen was, <laughs> Helen was going against some like, Helen it got went, went up with, Zuko. with Sally from Cars, which was like okay. That's she, easy, but Zuko was difficult for me, and I, Prince Naveen is also really. I difficult. think Zuko was difficult, or not difficult. I think Zuko and Sally weren't difficult. I for think you Naveen guys, was the only one that was difficult. Yeah, she got like grandfathered into the like, true second to last round. Yeah, like if she had gone up against like. I don't know, she go. Yeah. Or even Lola Bunny. I was gonna say, like her versus Lola Bunny, those are both the two like joke thickums cartoon characters yeah. of recent time. And if we were still in the one night stand mode, 
we would have probably gone with Lola Bunt. No, I'm not. I I the the canonical picture of her character design from the first movie is actually fucking insane. Like it's not anatomically correct at all. I mean, it's of Lola Bunny. No, of of Helen. Like it's genuinely so funny. I really first of all now I really want to watch The Incredibles and I really want to watch uh, Legend of Korra. Yeah, Larry SpongeBob. Maybe if SpongeBob was up against someone else, he would have. Got a fair shake. But him and Larry Lop... No, I don't know. Um, him versus Squidward, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Who lost in the first round that should have made it a bit further? Let me see. Mufasa. Some Hi. might argue Muf- Mufasa. I would. I feel like... Jimmy, I think. Jim Hopkins. Jimmy from Scary Godmother. No. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, Some might argue Max Goof. Which one was David? Where was David? Oh yeah, I think David should have got further. David probably could have could have gone further. I think David could have gone further. Yeah. This Prince Charming is Rapunzel, by the way. Just He's Kovu. Kovu's yeah. the 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 lion. Oh. Maybe I he, feel like the I, cars should have been paired up with each other because the car, cars is just such a. I get why people are attracted to like the the Lola bunnies and and even the Lion King characters, but for me, it's so hard to wrap my head around wanting to fuck a car. Yeah, maybe it's so. more the personality. Like just I like don't want to fuck Owen the Wilson. Blonde, the blind confidence of Lady McQueen. I so. don't want to fuck Owen Wilson with no inhibition. Um. Wow. So just wow. just to recap, the reason why I did this was because I saw the tweet. Um, I did get permission <laughs> Perfect. to show it. So if we could show this wonderful tweet on the screen, just to show the inspiration <laughs> for this. Some people might drive and listen. That's clearly oh. the Porsche logo. I know her little is, muffler yeah. be gripping. <laughs> know her little muffler be gripping. Damn. That's foul. All right. All, like publicly with his face attached to it. Tweeting this. That it's hilarious. She just looks bald to me. Like I in the right places. Thank you guys for edit. watching the there. hypothetical nonsense podcast. Um Helen Parr won the most eligible bachelorette yeah, in the cartoon did. universe. Mm-hmm. Watch next week. Prince Naveen was a difficult was difficult. Yeah. Yeah. That was a difficult one. Happy New Year's. Oh, Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year's, Year's everyone. Yeah. To, a, to a wonderful 2024. To the 20 to Tai Chi Cheers. Cheers. Cut. Yeah. Oh, get, uh, uh. <laughs>